Hi guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to day 13 of the Tifamba Remba challenge. Prompts for this challenge were newspaper or magazine and belly bands. I decided to create a masterboard and then make some belly bands from the masterboard. But before I take you back in time to see how that all came together and the materials I used and the techniques I used, I would like to do a little bit of business and self-promotion first which is to say if you could give this video a thumbs up it really does help the video reach more people if you're not already please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget when you've watched the video let me know what you think in the comments below and now without any more hesitation let's go back in time i'm still working on my mum's journal to do the belly band her journal's mostly going to be a5 maybe slightly bigger that size to do the belly band what i'm going to do is actually make this piece of paper a master board and use some bits from this magazine which is about the british raj which is india and relevant it's sort of the theme i was going for and i am just going to take out some writing from this article on the british raj i don't really want to touch the photos because I would like to photocopy those and use them in the journal as journaling cards or bits of ephemera. I have the papers that I want to use for the master board. First layer that I'm going to put down with Mod Podge will be a very basic text or similar coloured paper layer but I took some a bit of page out of a book on the Raj as well as the magazine. I think I've got a bit of music torn up somewhere there. It's nice to put different shades down, different styles of text. When I finish doing the whole thing I will be spreading a layer of Mod Podge over everything because it helps take some of the absorbency off the paper should I want to use paints, inks, any other materials on top of this they won't just sort of sink into the paper and be lost forever that way. Now what I'm going to do is add some Indian style paper napkin that's down to the one ply so that when you add it and this dries it will be see through and over the top of this just randomly we have other pictures as well Got this elephant here this is background when it's cut up to make into belly bands then we do some additional stuff to it often i do quite a bit of treatment to a background before moving on to the actual final piece here i've got a little bit of doily so I'm going to stick that down. Okay, needs to dry off I think. Now I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Before this dried I assumed I was going to come in and do some gold foiling and stencil some mandalas over it and then maybe do some focal points and now I like it as it is. We can work on it and add foiling etc and if I don't like the final result I can redo it to this stage might like do a second one let's just carry on get some gold on where there's some gaps i suppose so where we don't have napkin and things i'll give it a rub i want to make this like very glamorous boho i think sprinkling a bit of gold about works with the old glamour yeah i like it with the glam on it as well as the plain I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I'm going to use the green because I haven't used that yet. So that's as good a reason as any to use the metallic green. Got my little sponge. And then I am going to sponge over some areas where we've done it a bit or I've done it a bit thick. Just looking for something that might, and it is acrylic, I should be able 
to just get it up and sponge on some colour and wipe it off a little bit as well. Probably don't even need to bother with the sponge actually. Just use the baby wipe. I feel that pink really helped. It's time to cut this up. Focus points. That gets a little lost. I think what I might do is get the bigger punch. And see if... that might work by doing that Maybe it needs a plain background or try a bit of shiny oh no i don't mind that that's better the i've cut this one and i'm going to leave the other two as circles and then we have two flats two circles i want these central this central peacocks to stand out so I'm going to use the Stabilo pencil. I'm going to see if I can do it this way. I've never tried this way before, which is wet it first. And it's a Stabilo 8046. And it gives you a bit... You should be able to smudge it, hopefully. If it's a bit wet. Oops, that's a bit too much smudging, though. I've got that a bit too wet. It's a delicate operation with these stabilos to get it quite right. Stands out, it's just a little bit too much, maybe. See if I can get it so it's lightly movable but not too movable. Wow, that's going to be a balancing act. I'm going to go around all of these. After I did the peacocks, I tried edging just one of them with the black and decided I really like the drama of the black against those colours. I did it with the three that have got the black peacock highlight. I didn't do it with this one because I think that would then not work so well. This one can be my subtle, even though it's got a bit of gold in it my subtle belly band. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. I do have the other half of that paper, which could also now be used for pockets or tags or something. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help this video reach more people. If you're not already, please consider subscribing and let me know what you think of this challenge my answer to the prompts in the comments below and I will see you next time.